Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video we are going to discuss about the major difference between Hadoop as well as the Apache Spark and help you make the right decision for your next big data projects. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So let's talk about the Hadoop first. So Hadoop is nothing but a big data distributed computing framework which is a open source and it consists of HDFS which is Hadoop distributed file system which is also based on the Google file system papers as well as the MapReduce which is like a processing engine for Hadoop. And on the other hand Apache Spark is like also a open source system and it uses like a parallel computing at a very high scale. And the most common thing about these two technologies is that they are designed to handle large amount of data which is also known as big data. Since every industry is generating billions of records every day and to process that having the capability of parallel distribution is very important. But now let's talk about what are the differences between Hadoop and Spark and there are major differences. So let's talk about the data processing and how it processes the data with their different types of engines. So first let's talk about the Hadoop. So Hadoop uses the MapReduce which is nothing but splitting your big task into smaller chunks of task which is also known as the mapping task and then they are distributed across the cluster to process them parallelly and then their result are combined which is known as reducing phase. So this is how Hadoop works. So due to this Hadoop is pretty powerful tool for batch processing specially and it cannot handle real time data that well. But if we talk about the Apache Spark Apache Spark is a complete package. It processes the data and in such a way that it can handle like higher amounts of data coming at higher velocity as well as they use this like a concept known as direct acyclic graphs in which one task is dependent upon the another and these tasks are distributed across the cluster similar to Hadoop. But the main feature that Apache Spark will set aside the Hadoop is like the in-memory processing. So it processes the data in memory which makes it way more faster than the Hadoop. And also as we already talked about that Hadoop is only suitable for batch processing but here Spark is also supports real time processing as well as graph processing and the machine learning algorithms capability. So now let's talk about the performance of both the tools. So if we talk about Hadoop, Hadoop is a very reliable tool no doubt. But it has like a slower data processing capability because it stores the intermediate data to the disk which makes it very slower than the Apache Spark. And on the other hand Apache Spark will use in-memory computation in which your data is stored in memory so that it can be processed on the go and reduces input output activities. So making it very suitable for real time data processing, machine learning as well as the graph processing which Hadoop might not do that well. Now let's talk about the ease of use because simplicity can be a game changer part in the development process. So Hadoop as we already know it's pretty powerful tool but it has a steeper learning curve because of its complex setup as well as the configuration overhead. So it needs more database administrative task that Spark may not need. And if you talk about the Spark, it aims for ease of use for every developer in the world because it provides with high level API which can be used in multiple languages. So you have like a Python API, Scala which will make it a very accessible tool for developers. So now let's talk about the ecosystem of Hadoop as well as Spark because ecosystem matters the most when you have like end to end solution you have to design. So if you talk about the Hadoop, Hadoop has the HDFS which is Hadoop distributed file system which it uses for storing the data as well as they have like a Hayu for data warehousing. So as we know that Hayu is a pretty powerful tool as well for handling structured data and it also has the PIG for data flow scripting as well as the HBase which is native to Hadoop for handling NoSQL databases. So HBase is nothing but a NoSQL databases which can handle like a semi-structured data at scale. And if we talk about Spark's ecosystem, it is growing rapidly. So it has different libraries like MLlib for machine learning, Spark streaming for real-time data analytics as well as graphics for graph processing. 
so now let's talk about the real world use cases so different projects require different set of tools so if we talk about hadoop hadoop is an excellent choice for batch processing at higher scale and the task like log analysis data warehousing as well as large scale data processing framework where reliability is very critical and on the other hand if we talk about the spark spark shines in its capability which requires speed such as real time data analytics as well as the machine learning and interactive data analytics so as we discuss through this video these tools are pretty different and it has their whole lot of ecosystem as well as they have different sorts of capabilities if you are talking about data processing data storage as well as data analysis because we know that they can handle big data but there are more things before you choose which one is better for your use case so your last question would be which one to choose for your big data projects right so if you want like the reliable batch processing you can choose hadoop because it has like mature ecosystem and if your team wants a proven technology then definitely hadoop has like a big step ahead of the spark but you can definitely choose spark if you need like speed versatility and if the ease of use for your technology is like a crucial part in your project and especially in the real time streaming and machine learning as well as the data analytics part so spark does that well than hadoop so there you have it you have a quick comparison of hadoop as well as spark so there is no like one size fits all in this topic so different use cases require different set of tools which requires a different set of ecosystem whether you want hadoop or spark it totally depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day and what are the problems you want to solve so i'll highly recommend you to experiment with both the tools and see which one is more compatible for your use case so i hope you like this video so please give it a subscribe as well as ring the notification bell for latest updates thanks for watching